Folks, we're here today for more some motorsports. We're going to show you our 2004 290 Coastal Wellcraft. This boat is really, really nice inside and out, and we're going to give you the tour. First thing I want to show you back here on the aft of the boat is you got a sweet bench seat here that flips up real easy, gives you extra seating, stow it away. You access all your panels back here, your uh, pumps and your gauge, your uh, circuit breakers. And battery switches you flip that down real easy this is where all your uh, goodies are back here this is your triple bank 15 amp battery charger this will charge all your batteries when you plug into the shore power um, this is your petcox for the water for the scuppers on the floor this is your generator your raw water wash down your live well and your air conditioner you just turn them on and off if you want to shut the water off so they can't come in it's very important you make sure those are all on when you are running the generator uh, Anyways, over here are your battery switches. These are your main circuit breakers. And down inside the bilge in there, you got your, your pumps, your bilge pumps, macerator pumps. You just put that back away real easy like that. Flip it back up. And that's it. Over here, you got your fish box. You got two of them, actually. Port and starboard side. We had a big torrential rain so they got a little water in them. These things have plenty of room. You can get a lot of fish and ice in those. You got rod holders underneath the gunnels on both sides. And then we'll show you the tower. You got rod holders on here. Both sides. And then you have your rod holders back here. You got your center prop wash rod holder here that, so you can let your line out in between the props. Generator is located under here. It has a 5kW Kohler with a shh cover. It's got a little over 200 hours on it. Right next to it is the transducer for the, the uh, electronics for the bottom machine and that thing is uh, pretty strong. Probably the best I've ever seen on a, on a boat. Your battery for your generator is located right here. Your battery switch for your generator. You also have a blower in here because it is gasoline. You need to make sure you run that blower before you start the generator. Circuit breaker for the generator is located in there also. Underneath here, you got some storage. Got the dry deck in there so that your stuff doesn't get wet, stays up off the floor. Over here, it's one of my favorite spots on the boat take your wife out you can stick her in the live well and you don't have to worry about hearing anything from her no I'm just kidding but it is equipped with a light inside there you got plenty of room you got the see-through lid which is really cool if you want to look at your bait then underneath here snap that off and you got a fillet table for your uh, fillet and release trips I mean no cutting your bait and over here you have your knife holder you can put your knives in there you got a little sink under here this thing's pretty cool you're faucets, directional. Boat does have a uh, freshwater holding tank. You have uh, rod holders in the gunnels here. Those are for doing that deep sea fishing or trolling. I love this right here. You put your uh, tackle boxes in here. You got a little storage down here. This seat over here has a huge storage compartment. You got some more storage over here under this seat. Just a whole lot of storage in this boat. Show you the helm. This boat only has 526 hours on each engine. This is your tachometer for your port engine. This is your uh, speedometer. Fuel management tells you your fuel burn for your engines. And this is your port tachometer. Uh, you have your water pressure gauges on each side for each engine. Over here, all your switches, your horn, your nav lights, your quartz spreader lights, water pump, fish boxes, that's your macerator pumps, your live well, aft bilge, your wipers, and that's an accessory switch for your accessories. Uh, over here, you have your spotlight control. These are your trim tabs. This boat's equipped with a windlass, so you don't have to get up there and throw that anchor out. Gear shifts are here. Steering wheel is here. You get the rest. Up top here, we got a Raymarine C80. 
This is a chart plotter and a depth finder, fish finder. Takes a second to power up. We'll just show you that it works. I know it's kind of the sun's kind of bright, so it might be kind of hard to see it. But you can uh, you can have multiple page views, split screen, GPS. But it does work very well. It's a great unit. You got a Raymarine VHF radio. Look at this distress button. Let's hope you never need to use that while you're out at sea because your wife will not miss you. Um, and you also look at the size of this compass. Even if you had to wear glasses and you were blind like Seth, you could take those off and you'd still be able to see that thing. This is a really cool feature here. You can open this up, flip up your glass, and you're able to walk right up out of here. Get up on the deck if you want to instead of walking around. You can walk around though. It is called a walk around, walk about, something like that. Um, you got a clearing radio controller here so you can control your radio that's downside inside the cabin. Let me show you the outriggers too. We got some outriggers up here. We got the uh, Grand Slams. Oh yeah, let's show you the cabin. Take you down inside here. Now, this boat is really super nice and clean. We have uh, your cooktop stove here. Looks like it's never been used. Microwave that looks like it's never been used. And you got a sweet little sink here. This is Corian, so it'll uphold to the weather. Refrigerator is in super clean condition. You have some storage under here. Up top here you got storage to put all your goodies. That's so you can put all your treats in there. Over here, you got the Mission Control Center. This is your uh, switches for shore power to generator. You would just, if you're running your generator, you just flip that on. Powers up all the uh, AC. Everything right here is all AC. Down here is your DC. You got a radio right here, CD player, Clarion. Boat is equipped with marine air conditioning. There's the there's the controller. We'll go ahead and we'll start from the back. We'll show you the cabin downstairs. That's the little sleeping area. Here's the head. You got plenty of room in here. You got a full stand-up head in there. Unless you're like a basketball player in the NBA or something. You got some storage under there. That's where you can put your TP, stuff like that. You get the point. Uh, we got a uh, medicine cabinet there. You can put all your uh, toothbrushes and personal belongings in there. You got some uh, clothes storage here. You can put your hanging clothes up in there. Down here is where you put your silverware. I mean, you really can put whatever you want in there. But uh, I think it's designed for silverware. In here, look at this, we got some uh, extra screens for your windows. That's in case you, you are uh, boating in an area where you got the little the bugs and you don't want them getting in the boat and you want to have some fresh air. Now, this is a pretty cool feature here. You take this out and when you have that out, you put your pole in there for your table and that creates your dining room table. You have storage underneath these. on both sides. And it's slotted under here so you don't have to worry about mildew. Let's take this out. I'm going to show you this is a really cool feature in here for bunk beds. If you have kids and you want to go out fishing and Hang out, they can sleep up top here. You have them on both sides. It's 
like an air mattress. See that? It took about 30 seconds to put them both up, but you can sleep up here. This is great. You put your bed back in here. Now you can sleep six. Keep two here, two here, and two under here. If you're a big partier, you can get more in here. Anyways, uh, the boat's really nice. It's super clean inside here. We go through all the boats from front to back. This boat is equipped with 225 horse, four stroke Yamaha engines. We did a full service on them. Changed the oil, the lower unit fluids, uh, spark plugs. Everything on the boat has been gone through from front to back, so you can buy from us with confidence and not have to worry. Thanks for looking at our video. Give us a call if you have any questions. Ask for RG or Seth, 704-799-0541. Thanks.